I'm going to score a touchdown with the best first round rookies from the 2024 NFL draft. And of course, we've got to start with Caleb Williams, the number one overall pick going to the Bears as he's hitting Keenan Allen in the seams, which is a new addition to the Bears as well at wide receiver. They've got a lot of new players, including another rookie, Rome Adunze, that they also drafted in the first round. So the Bears are going to have a really fun offense this year. They got a lot of weapons, a lot of playmakers, and we're trying to hit him at the back of the end zone, but we get an overthrow from the rookie. That's okay. Rookies are going to miss him sometimes, but we get him on the second try. Rome Adunze, rookie to rookie connection in the back of the end zone. They should be a lot of fun this year for the Bears, along with all the other weapons that they've got. Next, we're moving on to Jaden Daniels, the second overall pick, and he's using his legs on the first play, and that's what the commanders are going to get, that dual threat ability in a big way with Jaden Daniels. Last year for LSU, he ran for a ton of yards. He threw for a ton of yards. He is the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, so hopefully he can finally end that QB drought over there in Washington as he's got some nice weapons like Jahan Dotson. He's obviously also got Terry McLaurin. They even brought in Austin Eckler at running back so a lot of new faces on this offense as well for the new QB it should be a fun team to watch and we're gonna see if we can dime Terry McLaurin right in the middle of three defenders what a dime by the Heisman winner to one of the best receivers in the league moving on to the next QB we've got Drake May for the Patriots and honestly I think this wound up turning out really good for the Patriots because this was a guy that we thought was going to go number two overall for a long time and some people still have him as the most talented QB in the class this is a very talented QB class obviously Caleb Williams Jaden Daniels all these guys are really good but there's a lot of people that think Drake May could be the best one of the bunch and that would be huge for the Patriots as they're still looking to find that Tom Brady replacement they're not going to quite find that replacement because you can't find another Tom Brady but if they can find a good starting QB in Drake May they'll be really happy and we're going to see if we can get into the end zone here we're throwing some check downs we're trying to make it work and we can't quite break the plane just yet we're going to see here if we can hit Hunter Henry in the flat and we've got him breaking the plane for Drake May's first NFL touchdown in Madden Let's move on to the first wide receiver drafted, Marvin Harrison Jr., the new number one target of Kyler Murray and those Cardinals. They lost D-Hop a couple seasons ago, but now they're bouncing back with one of the best, if not the best, wide receiver prospects we've ever seen. You don't really get a lot of guys that you say are a lock to be good in the NFL, but it feels like Marvin Harrison Jr. is just that. We're throwing a risky pass here in between three defenders, and that's the kind of play that Marvin Harrison Jr. can make. There's not much that he can't do, and we should see him scoring touchdowns like that in the NFL soon. Let's move on to the next receiver off the board Malik Neighbors out of LSU going over to the Giants and he's making big plays already and hey look the last time these guys drafted an LSU receiver high in the draft in Odell Beckham it turned out pretty well and I think it's going to turn out about the same this time as Malik Neighbors is a big playmaker getting over top of the defense he's going to make plays like that in the NFL because that's what he did in college big playability really good after the catch explosive super fast there are going to be a lot of big plays at MetLife Stadium this year now let's talk about the biggest surprise of the draft Michael Penn Penix Jr. going to the Falcons. Now, look, this guy has a lot of potential, but this was definitely an odd pick because they just gave Kirk Cousins all that money. And this is a guy coming off some major injuries. He's kind of older. So to draft him that high and have him sit for a while just doesn't make a lot of sense. But hey, hopefully it works out for them. We're rushing here with Michael Penix. We're taking a lot of hits. Not what you want to see the rookie do, but he holds on to the ball. But yeah, this guy made a lot of big plays at Washington last year. We're using his legs here. He's got some speed. Nothing's quite open. We're going to take off and we're going to use the speed to our advantage. He can throw he can run he can dime down the field like this i would like to see him get on the field a little sooner than a few years from now but we'll have to see how everything works out with Kirk Cousins and once again we're taking off we're using the legs he's got the speed and we're gonna get in there untouched for his first NFL touchdown we might see that not this year for the Falcons but maybe in a couple of years Let's move on to the next QB that was drafted, J.J. McCarthy, and he's going to check it down here to Aaron Jones, another new weapon on this offense, going from the Packers over to the Vikings. J.J. McCarthy won the national championship with the Wolverines last year, so he knows about playing in big games, and he's diming to Jordan Addison here. He just gets out of traffic, and he almost scores a touchdown on a big play. We're inside the five, and you know what we have to do here. It's Jay Jettis time on the whip route. Easy cooks the defense. This guy right here is going to make it very easy on the rookie next year. You got the best receiver in the NFL, JJ McCarthy. And we've got another QB, Bo Nix out of Oregon going to Sean Payton, the Broncos. Not a crazy surprising pick, but I think he maybe went a little bit higher than some people thought he might. It was kind of up in the air where he would go. But look, 
He's made a lot of big plays in college. We'll see if he can do it in the NFL. He can throw. He can run. They're definitely going to want to use his legs a little bit. Probably want to make it easy on him in his first year. They don't want to ask him to do too much. But hey, when you've got Sean Payton as your play caller, I mean, if you give him a QB that he likes, I think he can make things happen. I mean, he made Taysom Hill look okay sometimes. So I think he'll be able to work with Bo Nix. And right now, Bo Nix is going to use the legs. He's going to split the defense and get in there for his first NFL touchdown in Madden. Next up, we've got the top tight end of this draft, Brock Bowers, and he might be the best tight end prospect of all time. He's certainly up there. This guy is a monster. Went a little bit lower than I think some people thought he would go as we're overthrowing him here with Gardner Minshew, but the surprise was that he went to the Raiders because they just drafted a tight end in the first round last year who looks pretty good, but I think the Raiders are going for the two tight end type of package. They're going to try to use that a lot, obviously, and that can be very dangerous if you have two tight ends, the caliber of guys that they have, so that might actually wind up working out for them, and right now, he's absolutely cooking the defense here up and down the field we should be seeing this next season and when you add in guys like Devonte adams to this mix as you're gonna see right here on the celebration they're gonna be a pretty interesting offense going back to the wide receivers we've got another lsu guy brian thomas jr going over the jags to replace calvin ridley and hey if you need a big time receiver it seems like lsu can't miss right now with these receivers they're putting in the league so this is definitely the type of guy you want to pair with trevor lawrence he needs that new guy that he can run with for the next few years and i think this guy is going to be him he can make some big plays down the field big body can box people out and get big catches like this this should be a really good target for trevor lawrence and we're sticking with wide receivers here the panthers also got them a new big wide receiver in this draft xavier leggett this is one of the deepest if not the deepest wide receiver class we've ever seen who knows how they're going to all pan out but we saw a ton of guys go in the first round ton of guys go in the second round and hey the panthers definitely want to add more weapons for bryce young last year you know they kind of had some mid weapons some older guys they bring in Deontay Johnson and now they draft a promising rookie here who's making a lot of plays here in Madden as you can see just absolutely destroying the defense and making huge catches just like that if you want Bryce Young to succeed you got to put some good weapons with them and I think they did that speaking of weapons who let the Chiefs get the fastest receiver ever at least according to 40 time Xavier Worthy in fact he went a little bit later than I thought he would and when the Chiefs saw him sitting there they said you know what we're trading up to get this guy they've been trying to find the Tyree Kill replacement and let's be real you're probably not replacing Tyree Kill but they've been winning Super Bowls even without Tyree Kill and now you add Xavier Worthy if this guy could even be 80% of what Tyreek used to be it looks like the Chiefs are going to continue dominating for the foreseeable future and we've got more wide receivers. Ricky Pearsall going over to the Niners, and it looks like a busted coverage here from the Seahawks. They got confused. Two guys defending the same person. We hit the juke in the open field, and we're going to outrun Tariq Woolen for the touchdown. The first one play touchdown of the video, that's the new weapon for Brock Purdy and the 49ers. And we can't forget about Keon Coleman, the new weapon of Josh Allen and the Bills. And they needed to replace Stephon Diggs. And I think they did a decent job of that. Of course, this isn't the same type of receiver Diggs was. But this guy is big. He's got some speed. He can go up and make those 50-50 catches. He's going to be a problem with Josh Allen, especially a guy that likes to kind of throw it up, give his receiver shots just like this. He drops it here, but you're going to see him make a lot of those catches in the NFL, just like he did at Florida State. I think this is the perfect type of guy to to put with Josh Allen and the bills are going to be exciting and hey while you're here if you want to know all of the news we have for the upcoming Madden game make sure to check out this video right here on the screen